Let's learn how to apply Hess's law to calculate enthalpy changes using the algebraic method and energy cycle. Okay, for this round, we are going to learn how to use the algebraic method first. Okay, the question says, calculate the enthalpy for the following reaction. Okay, so it means that I want to know what is the enthalpy, positive, negative, and kilojoule. Okay, and given two equation. When you are given two equation, means these two equation you must use to get the final equation, which is provided. Okay, so now let us do one by one. Okay, now usually I will look at the final equation first. Okay, for example, let's see which one appears only one time. Okay, PCL5 appears only one time. You can see the first equation, there's no PCL5. The second equation, PCL5 appears once only. Okay, so for this kind of question, I will look at the species that only appears once only. Okay, then I will start with that equation. Okay, so now what I do is, Okay, but you can see PCL5 is on the left. The given one is on the right. So what do I need to do in order to get it on the left? So I need to reverse it. Okay, so what I do is put for PCL5, reverse it, becomes P4 plus 10 Cl2, guess. Okay, since I have reversed from right, I have changed it to left. Thus, the sign negative, I need to make it to become positive. So it's positive 3, 4, 3, 8 kilojoule. Okay, now, next step. Okay, what do I need to do? Okay, since I have complete with the num uh, one of the equation, okay, which I have get. BCL5. Now I will continue with another one that only appear once only. I don't balance anything yet. Okay, don't balance anything yet. Find the sp second species. Okay, so the sp second species that appear once only is PCL3. Okay, from the final equation PCL3, both of these equation only one appears, and then it is on the right hand side for PCL3 and the given one is also on the right. So means that I don't have to do anything about the equation. So I just copy 2P4. Remember, phase is very important. Huh? If you don't write down the phase, you cannot cancel anything. Okay, so 2PCL4 plus 12 CL2 gas, you will get 8 BCL3 gas. Okay, because you didn't reverse the equation, so it is still negative for 8, 7, 8 kilojoule. Okay, now let us look at this. Can we now cancel all the species in order to get only PCL5, PCL3, and 1 CL2 only? Okay, let's just have a look. Okay, first of all, PCL3, it is 8. Okay, but the final one is 1 only. Okay, so cannot do anything about it. Okay, there's something which we must eliminate. Okay, that is P4. We need to eliminate it from the equation because the final one doesn't have P4. Okay, so how can we cancel the P4? Okay, look at this. This one has 2P4. This one only has 1P4. So what I will do is, I will multiply by 2. So this one becomes 8. Multiply by 2, this one becomes 20. And because I multiply by 2, so this one I also need to 
the value I also need to multiply by 2. Okay, now, next one, let's conclude it. See whether can we cancel everything now to get the final equation. Okay, so let's say now 2P4, 2P4 we can cancel. Okay, what is left? 8 PCL5, guess is left. Okay, what else is left? Okay, PCL3, there's no more repeating there here. No more repeating. It only appear once. So 8 PCL, 3 guess. Okay, now comes the a little bit tricky part that is the chlorine. Right hand side, we have 20. Left hand side, we have 12. So meaning that we can cancel them as well. 12 is smaller, so 20 minus 12 Cl2, we will get 8 Cl2. Okay, it is on the right hand side. The leftover is on the right hand side because 20 is on the right hand side. It's also guess. Okay, now you can see that the factor here is 8, the coefficient is 8, but the final one is only 1, it's not 8. So what we need to do is Okay, so means there, before we calculate, I will label 1 and 2. So this is, let's say this is, and this one I put enthalpy, 3, not enthalpy formation, yeah? is enthalpy, the third enthalpy will be equals to enthalpy 1 plus enthalpy 2. Okay, but this one, the coefficient is 8. I don't want 8. I only want 1 only. So what I do is, I need to, divide by 8 okay so what i so in the end i will get pcl5 pcl3 plus cl2 yes and my enthalpy will be equal 3 equals to enthalpy 1 3, 4, 3, 8 times 2, positive, plus, negative, 4, 8, 7, 8. So the final answer will be 249.8 kilojoule. Okay, you see this one? When we got this one, it is exactly the same as the one that asked us to calculate. Okay, so this is how you do the algebraic method. First, always find the species that appear once only. Okay, the species that appear once only, try to balance them first. Okay, fix their, fix their position first. For example, if they are on the left, make them to the left first. If they are on the right, fix them on the right first. Only after that, we start to balance. See whether we can cancel other species or not okay so this is the one that i have typed out okay just to show you that which one you will get marks okay just now for enthalpy number one because we reverse the reaction becomes positive and we also need to multiply by two so this equation when you balance it you will get one mark the second equation because it is exactly the same we do nothing so there will be no marks given and again, then the third mark, because we are supposed to find the enthalpy, so when you write down the working step, you will get one mark. And also, final, you will also get one mark. Okay, now, this question says that find the standard enthalpy of formation of ethane given the following data. Okay, you can see the following data given is Combustion, combustion, combustion. There is no information of formation given. Okay, so when it is this time, you need to write down on your own the thermochemical equation for enthalpy of formation, which means the element reacts and then to get one mole of product, okay, according to the definition. Okay, then after that, as usual, okay, you come up with all the thermochemical equation for combustion 
and then you balance them and then you calculate and you get the final answer okay so marks will only be given when you do some changes when you need to do changes to the equation okay so this is the thermochemical equation okay i want to highlight here for the thermochemical equation just label kilojoule will do okay now what is the difference between these two questions Okay, one says find the enthalpy of formation. Okay, but it didn't give any thermochemical equation. Another question, like just now, is calculate the enthalpy for the following reaction, which the equation has been given. Okay, so these two, the difference is only one, you need to come up with a new new thermochemical equation on your own. Another one is you don't have to come up with a thermochemical equation. You just need to follow the equation given. So that is the difference between these two. Okay, that's all for this part. We will continue with energy cycle method later.